Hello and welcome to the Learning Patch. Today we are going to be continuing our June topic of dogs with the classic Disney movie 101 Talmatians. Today we're going to be talking about geography and how it relates to 101 Dalmatians. So if you remember from the movie, a lot of what happens is in London. The Dalmatians are from London and their owners are too. And they travel through the English countryside in the movie. So let's go ahead and look at the geography in 101 Dalmatians. And after that, we will have a special package coming that will show us some more about the culture of the UK, or United Kingdom. So tune in. So the movie 101 Dalmatians shows a lot of different places in London, especially at the beginning. And we're going to go ahead and look at some of these places that they show in the movie and what they look like in real life. Our first one is Big Ben, which was finished being built in 1859. They have to wind the clock three times a day. A fun fact about it is that in World War II, two faces were damaged. Next to Big Ben, you'll see a little house. Well, it's not really that little. It's actually a castle where Parliament meets. The two houses that meet in there are called the House of Commons and the House of Lords. This is where they make the laws for the United Kingdom. At the beginning of the movie, you also see a what's called a double-decker bus. A double-decker bus has two floors and can carry about 70 people. In London, the bus system is the largest in the world. One of the places that you see the main dog, Pongo, and Perdita visit is called Regent's Park. It's actually a royal park, which means that the land was owned originally by the royal family in the United Kingdom. A fun fact about this park is that it has the London Zoo in it, which is the first park to be ever created in the world. This is a picture of a London street. When you start meeting Pongo and his pet Roger. You meet them in one of these streets in London, which looks very similar to what the London streets look like today. London was founded by the Romans. The whole city was founded by the Romans way back early during the Roman Empire. A fun fact about the London streets is that there is some gold that is stored underneath it, but you have to dig pretty far to find it. And here with a beautiful Dalmatian sitting outside of it is a phone booth. The phone booths in the London are red, so they're easy to spot. They're usually kept outside, but sometimes you can find phone booths indoors. And you can find them in a couple other places in the world, but it's most iconic for the United Kingdom. And if you notice, the roof is really tall, and the reason for that is when they were first built, men would wear top hats, and, and the roof was built tall so that they could get their top hats and wear them inside the phone booth while they made a phone call. Now let's get back and see if our package is delivered yet. All right, well, I think our package is on the way and is right here now. Here's your package, love. Fantastic! Here is our package all about the UK or United Kingdom. So let's take a look inside. Okay, now that we have our package, let's take a look. First, you'll notice that we have the United Kingdom flag right here. Some people call also call this country the UK, Great Britain, the British Isles, and England. But they call this the UK flag because it includes Ireland, England, and Scotland all in this flag. Isn't that cool? So let's go ahead and open it up. 
before we do so, I forgot. This is also called a Union Jack. So let's go ahead and see all about England and its culture. Ooh. Well, the first thing we have here is a teacup. People in Great Britain love to drink tea and they have a special time of day called tea time that is usually in the afternoon when they take time out of their work to have some tea and maybe eat some light snack. So, cheerio. Let's see what else is inside. Ooh, these are the Beatles. They're a music group from England and they sang a lot of music back in the 60s. There was a time called the British Invasion when a lot of British culture was coming over to the United States and the Beatles were one of them. So if you ever have a listen, I recommend I want to hold your hand because it's a pretty good one. Let's see what else there is. Oh, we have a crown here. In the United Kingdom, they have what's called a monarchy. And the they have a queen and a king. That's a little different from here in America where we have a president. They don't elect a king and queen. They are they inherit the title. So, this crown represents the British monarchy. Ooh, what's this? It's a recipe for British fish and chips. England has some unique names for food. What we would call french fries, they call chips. And what we would call potato chips, they call crisps. England has a lot of really good foods like fish and chips. So I recommend you give that food a try. It's delicious. And one last thing. Ooh, this is a book called The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Disney actually made a movie of this too. It was written by C.S. Lewis, who is a British author. Well, he was. And in England, they have some other British authors like William Shakespeare, Jane Austen, and Charles Dickens. I highly recommend reading this book because it is really good, and I love it. And there's a whole series of them. So that was our little trip to London, to England, to the United Kingdom. And that is the end of our travel to England today. Have a good rest of your day and keep learning.